So I'm lucky enough to have several nice cameras and some very nice microphones and some cool recorders that I usually use to shoot my Look At Me Play Guitar videos. But I recently picked up a refurb my iPhone XS Max from the folks at gazelle.com and the thing impressed me enough that I decided to try shooting a video with the phone. In fact, I used the phone as the camera, the audio recorder, and also the video editor. I used iMovie right there in the phone and then uploaded the result to YouTube. So I thought I'd walk you through some of the gear that I used and some of the steps that I took to use the iPhone to shoot a refurb, vintage, low budget type look at me play guitar video. Since this is a vintage, refurb, used, old, look at me play guitar video, I started off with a vintage, used, old guitar, my Composite Acoustics Ox Raw. From back when Composite Acoustics was in Louisiana, before they were bought out by PV. And for microphones, I'm using another vintage pair. These are Audio-Technica AT3035s. These were never very expensive mics, but they've been replaced with the 2035s, so now these guys are vintage. For my camera, I'm using an iPhone XS Max refurb that I got from gazelle.com. And I'm taking advantage of the telephoto lens that the XS added to the iPhone. For audio, I'm capturing the stereo microphones through an iRig Pro Duo. And I'm using a Gorillapod to clamp the iRig Pro Duo to the tripod. I'm also using a Gorillapod iPhone clamp to hold the phone onto the tripod. And of course, I have my vintage old clapped out tripod holding the whole thing up. The app I'm using on, to control the camera on the phone is Movie Pro. It provides all kinds of manual controls for focus and exposure, white balance. It also offers excellent metering and things like uh, false color and focus peaking. The other thing I really like about Movie Pro is a free remote control that you can download and run on a second device. That lets me view exactly what I'm shooting while I'm in the performing position. So there's the gear that went into the shooting this video. The guitar, the microphones, the phone which served as both the camera and the audio recorder, and the audio interface to connect the mics into the phone. Now that we've shown you that, let's look at using the iPhone as a non-linear editor, an NLE as we call them, and uh, we'll use iMovie to edit our video, trim the heads and tails, and add a little titling, and adjust the audio. So it's a little fiddly, but it works. Let's see how it works. So here we are at the home screen, and now we're in Movie Pro, metering and manual controls and things like that. Since I already have the video shot, I just go to the edit screen, and that gives me an opportunity to transfer the file from Movie Pro to the camera roll, and then I can pull it into iMovie. Tell them I want to make a movie with that clip. I start off by trimming the tail, the end of the shot, after I finish playing. So we just find the point where we want to make a cut. Cut the clip using the little scissors dude down there. And delete the tail, the end of the video after the part that I want. The next thing I can do is adjust the audio level. This is a little bit tweaky and freaky, so it didn't come, <laughs> it wasn't as smooth as I might hope. But it does give you a way to adjust the audio level, even though there's no indication of how many dB you're adding. You just do it by percentage. 
Then I had to switch to a vertical orientation in order to get the jump to the beginning of the clip tool and started in on titling. Now titling in iMovie is limited. You can only put this stuff where iMovie wants you to put it. You have upper and lower options for the different styles. This is the only style I could find. The prism style is the only one I could find that has two lines of title. Delete out the the placeholder text. It doesn't go away by default. You got to get rid of it. And then uh, we can enter the title that we want to have in there. But if you don't want the title to run through the whole clip, the next thing you have to do is cut the clip. And then you can add another title, say a, a second title, and cut the clip again and add a third title if that's what you like to do, which I usually do. And then when you're ready for the, the title to disappear, you cut the clip again. When it plays back or renders the video, the points where you've cut don't show up as uh, glitches in the final video. So uh, those are the steps that I went through, plus finally rendering out the video from iMovie and applying all the changes that we made, the titling, the trimming, and so on, the audio adjustment to the final result, which winds up back in the camera roll, where we can then upload it to uh, YouTube. Turns out that the whole thing was very straightforward. So there's the story. It's pretty amazing what you can do with a phone nowadays. Camera, audio recorder, even editing station. I think I'll continue to use my mirrorless cameras and my and EDIUS on my laptop in the future and my fancy uh, recorder as well. But I'd say that the video from the iPhone XS and the audio from the uh, iRig Pro Duo and the AT3035 mics and the guitar, the old composite acoustics guitar, all demonstrated that you don't have to have the latest and greatest vintage stuff, refurb stuff, used stuff, old stuff, still works still makes pictures and captures audio just fine. So there's my story. Um, I certainly hope that you found this useful.